Hello students, today we are going to start new lesson statistics. In 9th standard, we have learned about how to represent data in histogram or frequency polygon. And we also we have also learned that how to draw histogram frequency polygon and also mean mode and median for ungrouped data. Now in class 10, we have to we are going to learn how to find mean median and mode for group data so first mean for group data we know that if observations are given suppose x1 x2 x3 up to xn these n observations are given and if we have to find mean of these observations then we have to find sum of these observations and if we divide sum of these observations by number of these observations we will get mean or average of these observations so we can write mean formula of these observations we can write mean is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn so sum of these observations divided by number of observations now these are n observations so divided by n so we can write in short now this mean we can represent as a x bar so x bar is equal to summation xi i from 1 to n divided by n now this summation xi means so here I am writing this summation xi that is this is notation of sum so this summation xi we can write as a x1 plus x2 up to xn so i represent this 1 2 up to n so x1 plus x2 plus up to xn we can write in short summation xi and i goes from 1 to 10. So this is mean for group data. Now there are three methods to find mean of group data. Another three methods. So first method is direct method. Second method is assume mean method. So now we are going to see one one method. First, I am writing here direct method. So first method is direct method. So in this direct method, frequencies are given, means observations are. So if x one x2 x3 up to xn these are observations and frequency of these observations are and frequencies are frequencies means or frequency means how how many times this x1 came how many times this x2 came so these are called frequencies so if frequencies are f1 f2 f3 up to fn so if these are frequencies we can find mean by using this formula so mean is equal to first we have to find product of this x1 f1 x2 f2 x3 f3 and xn f3 so we have to find product and then we have to add this that is x1 f1 or we can write as a f1 x1 so f1 x1 plus f2 
x2 plus f3 x3 up to fn xn and divided by number of observations. Now here suppose x1 came f1 times, x2 came f2 times, x3 came f3 times, similarly xn came fn times. So here number of observations means sum of these frequencies. So here we can write f1 plus f2 plus f3 up to fn. So this formula we can write in this way mean we can write x bar so x bar is equal to f1 x1 plus f2 x2 in short and in summation notation we can write summation fi xi r from 1 to n divided by f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus fn this we can write that is summation fi and i from 1 to n now this summation fi we write in short that is or we use another notation that is capital N so summation fi xi i from 1 to n divided by capital N so this is formula to find mean when frequencies are given so this is first formula to find mean by direct method so here we can write here n is equal to summation fi i is equal to 1 to n. So this formula more clear will be more clear when we will take example. So now we will take example to find mean by direct method. So here example is find the mean of the following distribution. So here observations are given. X means observations. So suppose these are uh, marks obtained by the students in some test that is 4, 6, 9, 10, 15 and these are frequencies means how many students got 4 marks so here 5 students are there so suppose we are considering this so here xi these are observations are given 4, 6, 9, 10, 15 and frequencies are given 5, 10, 10, 7 and 8 so here we have to find mean by direct method so first we have to write in tabular form So we have to prepare three columns. In first column, x is there, that is observations. In second column, frequencies are there. And in third column, we want here fi x, that is multiplication of this two. So first, we have to write this observations: four, six, nine, ten, and fifteen. And here f i is 5, 10, 10, 7 and 8. Now we have to find product of this two x i and f i or f i x i. So here 4 into 5 this is 20, 6 into 10, 60, 9 into 10, 90. 10 into 7 that is 70 and 15 into 8 that is 120. Now we want sum of these numbers that is summation fi xi and also we want summation fi. So we have to find these two. So summation fi this is 10 plus 10 20, 25, 25 plus 8 33. Plus 7, this is 40, and the sum is this is 360. So, summation now we have to find mean that is x bar. First, I am writing here formula x bar is equal to summation fi x divided by summation fi, or you can write here n also capital N. So, x bar is equal to summation fi x is. 360 so 360 divided by summation f5 that is 40 so 360 by 40 that is 9 so x bar is equal to 9 means mean of this observation is 9 i will take one more example of direct method so find the mean of the following distribution xi is given 10 30 50 70 and 89 
and x y z are given 7 8 10 15 10 10 and we have to find the mean of this distribution so first we have to write in tabular form so x y z are 10 30 50 70 80 90 And if I have seven, eight, ten, fifteen, and ten, now we have to find product of these two. So ten into seven that is seventy, thirteen into eight that is two forty. This is five hundred. This is hundred five one thousand fifty. 89 into 10 that is 890. So now we have to find summation f i x i and summation f i. Now this, if we find summation f i that is 10 plus 10 20 plus this, this is 35 plus 8 42 plus 7. So this is 8 plus 7 15 30 50. 50. So this is 50. And if we find sum of this, so this is seven plus four eleven plus five sixteen sixteen plus nine twenty five two plus two four five nine plus eight seventeen. This is two seven five zero. So summation f i x i. This is two thousand seven hundred fifty. And summation f i is 50. Now we have to find mean. So x bar is equal to summation f i x i upon n. Or here n is equal to summation f i. So summation f i x i that is 2750 upon n that is summation f i that is equal to 50. So if you find this. So x bar is equal to 55. So mean of this observation is 55. Next example is uh, here we have to find arithmetic mean of this distribution. But here class intervals are given, so we don't have x i. So first we have to find x i. So here how we will get x i? So we have to consider x i means a class mark. So class mark. Class mark we can say that as a midpoint of class intervals. So here. Class intervals. First class interval is zero to ten. So class mark of this class interval is five. So how we will get class mark? We have to add lower limit plus upper limit. So lower limit is zero. Upper limit is ten. So zero plus ten divided by two. So zero plus ten is ten divided by two. So we will get class mark is five. So class mark we have to take as a fixer. Ten to twenty class mark is. 15, 20 to 30, class mark is 25. This is 35, and this is 45. And their frequencies are given: 8, 10, 9, 12, and 11. Now we have to find f i x i. So if class uh, if class intervals are given, we can take class mark as x i, and then we have to find f i x i. So here f i x i, eight into five, this is forty, this is one fifty, this is two twenty five, this is twelve five zero sixty six four twenty. Now we have to find summation f i x i and summation f i. Now summation f i is equal to this is twenty thirty and this twenty that is fifty. So summation f i is fifty. Summation f i x i is equal to.
so summation fi is 1330 and summation fi is 50 now we can find x bar that is arithmetic mean so x bar is equal to summation fi sir divided by summation fi so x bar is equal to summation fi size 1330 divided by summation fi that is 50 so x bar is equal to this is 26.66 or we can write 26.7 so mean this distribution is 26.7 so you can keep, keep in mind if class intervals are even then we have to find class mark as a or we can write class mark as a x side 